two, one. I'm joined right now by Cal State East Bay softball team head coach Claire Sua Amundsen. On her right, Marissa Quintero. And on her left, Kiana Elder. Coach, you guys are coming off a big 2 0 win in the third game of the CCA tournament. This is the double elimination portion of the round. Can you just tell me your thoughts on today's win over Sonoma State? I think we did a good job. You know, Sonoma State's a tough team. Obviously, they played well, and we knew it was going to be a battle the whole game. We knew every pitch was going to be important. So I think our players did a really good job of sticking with the plan at the plate, not coming out of themselves. And I also think defensively, Cynthia Creo in left field had a ton of balls to play on, and I think she did such a good job. Obviously, Marissa Quintero can't say enough about her performance today against a tough Sonoma hitting team. Fantastic. Marissa, can you tell me, second day in a row, you really did a great job for your team, helped got two victories out here in the CCA tournament. Can you just tell the pride and what was going on for you out on the mound today? Uh, I was just doing the best that I could for my team and always trying to strive to the top that I could do. And I was just really excited to play with my team, and I just I don't want us to get into the losers bracket. I want us to stay winning. Well, you're very humble on this one. I believe you had a, a no-hitter into the fifth inning, at least on that one. And the big hit then that put you guys on the board, that, so it was a 0-0 game up until that point. But, Deanna, tell me a little bit about your swing and how important it was to help your team take that lead in such a tight contest. Um, yeah, it was definitely nice to finally get my little breakout hit. Um, everybody on the team super supportive. My plan this game was honestly just have fun, and me and Coach I talked before the game, just be aggressive and swing at strikes, because she knew I could do it. I know I could do it, and everybody knew I could do it, so that was really just my plan, but it felt really nice. Well, you guys also got another really big solo home run later in that game from Jessalyn Cuellar. Tell me about how important, how good it feels for you there, Marissa, when you guys get that second run on the board, that little extra cushion late. It was very relieving because I know like we were up when it was 1-0, but you still just never know, especially with Sonoma, because they are a good team. And so it was just good to have that cushion. It was like weight off my shoulders a lot. Coach, tell us this one, um, just kind of how your team's learning in the process of this one. You guys didn't have a win before, now you have two under your belt in two days. Can you just tell me what the experience is and how you guys are growing as a team? Yeah, I mean, I think we, when we talked about going to the tournament, it's just about enjoying being here and competing and being together as a team. And the environment itself can be a little bit overwhelming. There's a lot of pressure. And we've actually worked on not giving ourselves any more pressure than need be. The game's going to be what it's going to be, and we've done it every single day. We've had a ton of reps under us, so it's really just about going out, competing, knowing that we can do it because it's something we do every day as a team and just enjoying being in the moment and being together. Well, fantastic. It was great to see those hugs at the end of the game and I hope you enjoy the moment. We'll see you again tomorrow. You guys are in the winner's bracket, so good luck the rest of the way. Thank, Thank you. you.